Good morning. We're heading off to Spencer Smith Park this morning for a sunrise shoot. Right now it's completely dark. I've been up since about 5 a.m. and we are heading down the highway and hoping for a very beautiful, beautiful morning. The ground here is covered in ice, but it's so beautiful. There's a really neat pier on one side, and then on the other side is the Skyway Bridge. You probably can't see the details with this camera here, but I'm going to take an image, and I'm gonna cross this barrier that I'm not supposed to cross. Because this is where the best picture is. Okay. So we do have a gorgeous sunrise. There are very few clouds in the sky. There's actually a very low lying cloud layer along the horizon. So it's delaying the sunrise just a little bit i'm going for two shots here so there's the pier and it's it's just it's beautiful it's got a really interesting shape and there's just the the soft gradation of color behind it so i'm kind of going for a minimal shot with just the pier and the beautiful sunrise colors um, for that i am playing around with polarizer, non-polarizer. Um, really, I want the water to have lots of reflection, so I'm not trying to polarize the water so that I don't. So, yeah, there's not really too much necessary here. I'm just going, I've, I've used the 70 to 300 to just kind of zoom in and get just the pier right through the middle of the horizon and uh, ISO 100 F between, uh, you know, I put it F8, there's less distortion, all that kind of stuff. And the other thing I'm doing is I've got the 24 to 70 lens on. I'm pulling right back out to 24 and I've got this really cool stone pier and the uh, chain between them. So I'm trying to get that in the foreground and the pier in the background. So that is beautiful now the pier is going to look very very small because of just the distance and the lens that i'm using however i really love the detail in the pier itself and in the the stone and in the the beautiful iron chain so we're going to set this up here iso 100 i'm on f8 and it's at one third of a second and two second timer okay done now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see there are a lot of ducks swimming around and the water has just a really nice ripple in it but I'm going to play around I'm going to hike up my f-stop to 22 and so really I'm closing down the aperture and it's going to mean that I have to leave the lens open for longer so I'm still at ISO 100 f22 hello birds <laughs> three seconds okay and I'm going to do that just to see if it smooths out the water just a little bit and maybe I'm going to like that better two second timer it does it smoothed out the water quite a bit so I'm going to 
I'm also going to bracket my exposure a little bit. There is quite a bit of light in the sky now. When I first got here, there wasn't, but there is now. So I'm not sure. I'm, you know what? I'm not going to bracket my exposure. I'm going to go and I'm going to put on my neutral density filter, the three stop and degrad. Okay. have extra cards with you my <laughs> <Shut up. clears throat> my card ran out of room so I always have extra cards with you um, my husband's laughing at me because he thought I was done and I'm like no no I have extra cards <laughs> but anyway the sunset is I mean the sunrise is over and it's really bright now and it's really beautiful but um, I'm done. So I'm going to pack up and head home and look at these images and what an amazing start to the day. It was absolutely gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a crisp, beautiful winter morning and I really highly encourage you get out and take hold of life and enjoy this day. Okay, so thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye.